here's the thing that we're doing today. There's this game that I've been seeing a lot of people talk about and a lot of people play. And I looked it up and it's only about one hour long. It apparently is a super duper emotional game. And I heard it's very, 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 very good. So I figured we should experience it together. Maybe shed a couple tears, kiss each other on the lips, you know, just kind of see what happens. But it's a very emotional game called uh, Before Your Eyes. And I think the whole premise is you get to relive your life. I think you die or something and you get to relive your life. But every time you blink, time skips forward. So it's like a very, I, it's like a premise about cherishing the time that you have and all that stuff. And I think that's why it's called Before Your Eyes. But that is what we're doing today. You guys ready to cry together? You guys better be ready to cry together. Because I'm fucking stoked. I'm ready to cry. I was like, press space right anytime to recalibrate. Cool. Ah, this is worrying. If you blink in the game, you blink in real life. Nice. This is a game about blinking. See, every time you blink, the game will notice. Ah, that's scary. See how this works? Try blinking on the white symbol. It's so weird. When you see a metronome and blink, you'll jump forward. It's freaking me out, dude. Okay, that's a phobia of mine, drowning. Very real phobia. Get away, you lucky fowls. That's mine. Well, hello there, stranger. Whew. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. Someone in chat said Warwick. We're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. Nice. If that makes any sense. Yeah, it so, does. So, if you understand what I'm saying, blink over my hand here. Ooh, well look at that. Nice. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. See all them poor souls down there? Lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. Oof. See, I, I just sometimes kind of get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? No Who is he? Better word than that. Ah, a premonition when a soul's go. worth pulling up. Okay, I'm worth it. Now you see that tower out there? The big scary one? Oh That's shit. That's where I'm taking you to see the nice. gatekeeper, to be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Tom and Jerry. She's impressed. Tom. I get paid the big coin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you, well. <laughs> what? We Did I drown? Because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> oh, shut up, you trash birds. You Are we talking shit to him? <laughs> it wasn't my fault you were no good. Lay about. Are the birds previous dudes? Clock watchers. I got some words for you. I do this thing where I double blink all the time. <laughs> Is he barking at them? That's funny. I like that. Sorry you had to hear that. That's funny. I didn't know he was a dog. I thought he was cat. So sure. Maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. Let's do it. So I'm ready. Just think back to the very beginning, the first thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay. My hands are sweaty. Right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. 
Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. But don't be afraid. And don't try to fight it. The thing to remember about blinking is, uh, well, it's only a matter of time. Uh, okay, I'm a, I'm a blink. I was trying to see if you had anything else to and say. Just try to enjoy it this time. I was, I was gonna see if you had anything else to say. I was trying to stare in contest him, but he stopped talking. Try to enjoy it. I'm enjoying my Look life. At that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? Oh God, she knows you I'm must smiling. Really like it out here, huh? Well, I get that. I like it too. Mm -hmm. I assume that's my mother. That's cute. His first memories are uh Let's go get you some seashells. What do you being say? Being at the beach. That's adorable. You see that big spiky plant over there? That's oh, called okay. Nagabe. Eleven Got years from now, that plant will die so it can give birth to this tall, amazing tree. Cup. Oh, God damn it! Day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Oh, I wanted to hear it. I wanted to know about agave. Now I'm gonna have to Google piece? it. I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it? Oh god, this game's so hard because you gotta keep your eyes open to see everything that's going on. Alright, I guess I'll blink. Okay. Go ahead, kid. I should get a spritzer and just spritz in my eyes so that I never have to blink. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> that's oh. a great idea. My name's really? Benny? Oh! Damn it! That's cute. All right, I got to experience my first birthday as a Benny, which is a bad name, but you know what? It's okay. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? Dude, if I ever have give it time, I'm sure have you'll me be better than me soon enough. A little boy or girl, I would force them to play piano. I wouldn't force them, but I'd want them to. I'm gonna knock this over. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Am I solving Sounds the puzzle? Sounds good, honey. I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to this be is perfect. so cool. I love it. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. The art is so what nice. Like about it? I, like it. I like the music. That's very specific. I also like the person playing it. Yeah. I'm worried that might have something to do. Hmm. That's a little rough. That's the boat you're riding in. Oh shit, you're right. It is the boat I was riding in. Good son I and mean, good uh good good call there. I don't know. Probably solving the problems of the universe. What is that? So is that the boat? Do you think he's gonna be smart? I don't see why not. I mean, we're both pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Good. but that doesn't mean he's going to be necessarily. You're right. No. Yeah, I, 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 I could already tell I'm gonna cry at the end of this. No, so it's hard. not derivative. I'm gonna at bawl least I my didn't eyes out. Think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my peace <laughs> I suck. It really means a lot. That's why they think I'm stupid. That's not even close. Oh, that's sure a little mess of color. Throw? No, I don't want to throw it. All right, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it. Just hey, to do it. We do not throw things in this house. I gotta have my tantrums. If you're mad that you aren't good enough yet, you'll just have to keep working at it. I want to throw at least one tantrum, you know? I'll be a good boy, but let me get let me get one tantrum out of the way. 
baby grand piano. Ooh. Nice. That used to be my piano. Oh, that's cute. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. That's a really cool lore. I like that, that she's a pianist. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. You know, I wish that my parents put me in music. I know a lot of people say that. No, I don't, but I really do. I think he hoped to make it further than conducting the high school choir. Never said anything, though. He was what you might call the strong silent. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I need to get a good blanket. Fuck! Okay, Benny. Oh. Are you ready to see something really special? It's so hard. I just don't want him to get attached. That I that I gotta hold my eyes open because we keep missing Lord because this dry ass room. What is it? Richard. What? Oh! It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. you're missing an What's eye. He's so that? cute. We can't keep him, can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic, so no, right? No. We'll find someone to take. I love him. But while he's here, I say we call him Ernie. <laughs> Ernie. <laughs> Little Ernie. Fits him, doesn't it? Oh, kind so of. Cute. He's so sweet. I think so. Ah, damn it! I'm gonna call him Patches. <laughs> Ernie's a dumb name. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? There you go. That wasn't right. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? I know music theory. Uh oh. Sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. Oh, okay. All right. She was sneezing because she's allergic. That's okay. I was worried that she got sick. All right. We're good. We're vibing. Oh, we're vibing. Okay, cool. We get some lore. Oh, please. I need spritzers for my eyeballs. School studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just pray to God I can somehow keep up. I'm cheaper than hiring movers. I fucking love that. That is that is alpha. Richard is a goddamn alpha male. And my name is really Benny Brine, really. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know. Oh. Which I very quickly lost. Oh my god, I could just feel that I'm gonna be fucking crying in like 20 minutes. I could just sense it. Oh no. God, she dragged me to so many places. It was wonderful. Me and Reb. Reb drags me everywhere. Where would you want to go if you could only go to one? Greece, obviously. Well, just remember to put on sunscreen. <laughs> Man, I gave you some unfortunate genes, didn't I? Luckily. Yeah, it sucks. Some good ah, damn it. I keep miss. I keep missing. I mean, I, I keep blinking. I mean, God damn it. It's so hard. I got to really juice up my eyeballs before the next, the next QTE starts, you know? This game is super duper good so far though. I love it. It's such a good story. So far, I am completely enthralled. That, that's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? I know Richard, how to read. Are you hearing this? What? He's playing my piece. He must have figured it out by ear. Oh, I mean, that's so cute. I was a gifted kid, but. Playing by ear is like hard, right? It's a very hard thing to do. That's cool. I'm talented. I'm talented and I'm cute. <gasps> Only oh, God, L. I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Only L is that my name is Benny. Crayon? What does that mean? Oh, I drew him. Sorry, I already did. Oh, thank God. For a moment, I forgot what a great father you are. Focus on the interview, honey. I got this. This is cute. It's very cute. It's very cute seeing a good couple growing up together and having a loving mom and dad. That shit is awesome. Excuse me, of course, sir. It's all organized into folders sitting ready on my kitchen table. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. What could possibly happen to the files between now and tomorrow morning? We are fine. I'm getting better. Wow. Oh, you fucking jerk. You saw him pee coming? on my fucking, on my I'm desk? Out in February, Little ass. Remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? Ah! 
This is called a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. Uh -oh. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. Okay. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, mm. which might live on after you're gone. That's smart. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. Oh, things go in and out of focus. That's cool. Yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Can you believe that? that mm. be Interesting. Yes, yes. Why is it always raining? They probably live in like Seattle or something like that. The sad part's when you download League of Legends. Exactly. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that? <laughs> She's getting a little mean, huh? There you go, buddy. She's getting hey, a little mean. Firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my! Well, yeah. I don't think you like that, pal? Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but Oof. if you keep going back out there every day, you'll be surprised by how much it changes. The entire time I'm watching, I'm trying to think of what's gonna happen, you know? Is it gonna be a divorce? Is it gonna be a death in the family? What's gonna happen? It's all too picture perfect, quite literally. Ernie, Ernie buddy. Ernie. Ernie. Ernie, we need oh, you. Oh no, the cat ran away. God, no, what if you got eaten by a coyote? My oh God. Will be eternally indebted. What did you just say? What the, what'd she say? So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But oh no. Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? Ernie's pregnant. I thought it was. Uh -huh. It was an Erna. And that was based on? P-hole distance. Say that one more time to me. P-hole distance from the butt. I'm still not <laughs> understanding how you let this happen. Yo! I don't know. I didn't you think know. about it. It just That's cute. It just happened. I wonder if they have eyes. Oh, I blinked. God it dang it. coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. Is that not good? What's wrong with that? No, are you kidding? I love it. Good. Are you able to pick up a new book? Yeah. That's creative expression, okay, lady? I meant any book. Oh, yeah. Got those two. You right? No, no. Can't really hear anything. Is there anything else to photograph? Nope, nothing. Let's go. <sighs> every time it gets dark, I get scared. And I know I shouldn't because it's not a horror game, but every single time it, get, it gets dark, I get terrified. What a weird strat. Like, to be good at this... Not be good, but to get everything in this game, you have to uh, be able to keep your eyes open for a very long time. What is that noise? I know it seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex, but just take it one day at a time. Trust me. The fuck? What is this? Kovacs? Is this Aim Lab? You're really getting there, honey. Next week, we'll start working on your other hand. Crushed that one. Listen to him, Richard. I'm enlisting him in that competition. I thought you said competitions took the joy out of playing music. Not if you win. I'm seeing her follow in the footsteps of her father. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. She still likes piano. Maybe it's a good thing. I crushed that. I fucking killed that, lady. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome for being your son. Two brackets on each side. <laughs> He's building a table. Two screws on each bracket. Nice. Two washers on each screw. So, I mean, the quiz said find the zero. Oh, it's and done. He just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. <laughs> it said find the zero, and he drew he drew an arrow. 
<laughs> That's some shit I'd do. That's hilarious. And smart. Okay, buddy? Not my fault your question sucked. Yes? I that box full by the time I come in there. Oh. If you don't play with it anymore, we're getting rid of it. Oh, my toys. No, my toys. But I keep the boat. That's the important... That's the important story boat. Congratulations, B. First of many, I'd assume. A surfboard? Wow, I'm getting older, older, huh? A, why would I have a surfboard if I am but a boy? More photographs? This isn't my house. It's not my house. Right, it's my house. You have five minutes to get down, and I'll try the back of you up there. You're not my house. You're not. Is that kid moving and sad about it? Is that what's going on, or is it the opposite? Because he said he'll drive back with him up there. Fall back, you fool! He's I'll fencing with a back. tennis racket? I'll feed them to the cat. Chloe, come play inside. It's late. Hey, you! Yeah, Ooh, she grew up. you! Come over here. I never Dad learned how to walk. Boy. I'm talking to you. I don't have legs. Or a mouth, apparently. Wait, did they move in? Yeah, they moved in. So they were moving inward. Not outward. Why are you always out here taking photos? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Nice. That was cool. Chloe. Oh shoot. I think I gotta go. But, that was pretty swag. Um, try to take a photo of me running into my house. I'm pretty fast, so I. Ah! I blinked. Damn it. Quiet, everyone. Ah. Betty's about to play for us. Wow, L, he's unbelievable. My God, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Dude, I am crushing it. Did you used to be a composer yourself, L? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years old. And, and what Dude. do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No, I mean, what's his field? Uh, it's maritime archaeology. <laughs> Very cool. Mm. But no one really knows what it means. Mm. No They're just arguing <laughs> while I'm crushing it's kind of one it. One of those professions that stops the dinner party short. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm. More wine? I'll have a little more wine, please. Yeah. What is it? I'm a the class monster. Is world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. The nice. class will be broken up in hey, units. I did crush that. Look on your desk. I wrote you something. Dear weird neighborhood kid, we are in the same class. What a coincidence! Please keep in mind that while we're at school, we don't know each other. Do not talk this to me ever. Broke. I want each of you to write it down. Not doodle on the Damn. sidelines, not stare he's off gonna in fucking, space. He, he's gonna grow up, dude, so sad off of that. You know how traumatized that's gonna be? Now I will go on to the next slide. Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? Dr. Phil, that's um, Dr. Phil. Right, I definitely know this. You were taking notes. So those who do not remember the past repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Though I prefer you to answer without the help. He sounds like the principal from fucking I Rick and Morty, doesn't he? I tried to your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. Ooh. I half suspect he bought it for himself. Let's go. The little guys are pretty cute, though. I will admit that. Oh, I want the job of whoever gets paid to think of that crap. Look at that controller. God damn. That looks like, remember when the PS3 was going to come out and there was all those fake pictures? That looks like one of them. Um, at long last, your favorite conchers are ready for battle for the playscape. Join Marcy and her four sad brothers as they search for their lost mother, the legendary queen conch, and trop gooey monsters with Dr. Ebb's patented seashells and coerce them into spectacular battles. Nice. Definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys have become friends. 
<laughs> oh, sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. <laughs> Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Love star. Did just thank me for hanging out with you? <laughs> That's a very interesting detail. That's weird, okay, yeah. Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. I really want this one. Maybe I'll use... Tickle stick. Yeah, do it. Tickle that lobster. Whoa, that's a pretty good drawing. You should draw pictures of more different stuff. Not me, though. <laughs> I'll actually kill you if you try to draw me. And you saw what I'm capable of in your backyard. Aya! Benny, why did you draw me? You're not good enough. I. It's called a magnet school. Oh God, it's so funny. Stream's not lagging, flamboyant. You're spamming a little bit because you're lagging, and you're the only one lagging. Called Bert. I know the change can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. You know, life can take you to some incredible places if you're really, really good at. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Juilliard for gamers. So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could <clears throat> excel in that sort of an environment? Yes, I'll crush it. 100%. Sorry, he's very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. Nice. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. Look at that face. Shut up, so, sir. So, I understand Little bitch. you were a musician yourself. Where did you study? Oh, Berkeley. But I was in the composition department. Ah. Uh, mm, I could not. I was not going to be able to hold my eyes open the entire time. Yeah, that guy, what the fuck? Why is he mad dogging me for? I'm just a fucking kid. Why do you got beef with me, bro? I'm 10. As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there and a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no pressure. I just want you to try and we can see if you start enjoying it. Start enjoying it? That's a just bad sign. I'd like to see you really rise <laughs> to the occasion. Fugger. Just this once. Man, this girl's a fucker, I fugger, wish I huh? had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. Damn. Crumble? No. I'm gonna make my mom proud. Why would I crumble that? Okay? Why? That's mean. Why would I do that? I'm gonna crush this shit. The ultimate villain, higher education, exactly. Let's crush this. Don't answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. Well, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Hey. I, I don't want to lose everything to be a pianist. You know what I mean? This is weird. Oh my god. Is she really calling you again? What, is she obsessed with you? Okay, okay. Not getting good vibes from the mom. What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. Oh, he's fine. Go talk to her. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on right now? Okay, you know, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't raise your voice like that. Well, then don't stick your nose into things that you're completely checked out of. Getting bad vibes okay. here. Did I just cause a fight with your pants? Ah, damn it. I blinked. A new biz in the presence of my art who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, would weigh the deceased soul against a <laughs> feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the scale. That is Amma hey, and she's got- Mr. Kid. Yes, that's a Best. she. What up? Head of a it. crocodile, fur of a lion, see, and the after of my dad goes to sleep, I'm going to sneak out of my house and go sleep on well, the beach. Say that to her if you face. want to get invited, draw me a picture now, of Mr. Isaac. <laughs> as you can see, being constipated. she is ready to kid. devour. Yes, we are going to the beach. To do not pass judgment. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Why is yes. So scared That's hilarious. Okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. So you so better sure pick up my call, dude. Right now. Yeah. Slightly worried about having him change schools. 
just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay. Listen, yeah, that's. I don't, I don't know. To understand the motives of children. Richard, Benny has a chance here, a real chance to be really good at something. I mean, no. The mom is thing. giving me some terrible vibes. I'll be Richard, honest. I don't think you actually really understand what that is. The mom is giving me some horrible, horrible yeah, vibes. I suppose you're right. Oh, Richard, please. She's like acting like if I don't play piano, I'm gonna be a miserable piece of shit. And 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 instilling the idea that I only have friends because they want to use me, which Lights is terrible out. to instill in a kid. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. Do I sneak out? Richard. And then go to the beach? Benny. Chat? Mom says we're going to the beach, off. huh? Not and then we're, you say. And then we're gonna fucking and then we're gonna eat shit, right? Oh god. No, I'm going I'm no. Wow. Didn't think you'd actually pick up. I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. So me. Okay, so meet me out in the alley in T minus now. Okay? Chloe out. So mean. <laughs> this girl sucks too. Wasn't all the women in Benny's life sucking ass? You know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Or to get off the Good morning. Chest. Okay. I Probably There's didn't sleep at all. Nothing I can do about it. All night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay. You still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of math. Oh my God. God damn it. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. I can't do anything about blinking. Don't fucking roast me, chat. What do you want me to do? Okay, okay, I think that's enough. So, Benjamin, Oof. uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice, yes? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may be take you okay wow maybe i pushed you too hard maybe you i did. turned into my own father you fuck you did I don't know. lady you have to find something to focus on the world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something mm. Mm. she did right you she pushed way too hard school for a while just until this nasty thing clears hey l would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office there's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I'll be right back, Benny, okay? Just maybe five minutes, kiddo, okay? I gotta hold my eyes open for five minutes? What is that? What is that? Do I have an issue with my lungs? Is that what's going on? Oh, no. Am I a kid that gets really sick? It's such a crucial time in this development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, look, having him home for a little means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him, make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I will. Oh no, that's so sad. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. What else is there? There's nothing else to do, lady. Mother. 
Boat. Oh, oops. I left clicked instead of a uh, blinking. Oh, I'm getting good. Nice. I'm becoming a monster at this. Why isn't your son doing this, huh? No. You mean young Vincent? <laughs> well, ever since he got sick. I'm a beast. Look at this. And Mr. Benjamin Brin has been yeah. awarded first place. Look at it. It's so cute. I love that boat. You're good? Really Thank you, guys. You I'm killing it. I'm crushing it, honestly. What makes you want to pursue a career in arts? You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. Well, Although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. I, I crushed it. I, it looks better here than it does over there. Honestly, I crushed that. Uh, I'm gonna do boom. Oh, how very wacky and fun these are. You gotta wait and they get funnier. It's very zany, very kitsch. Yeah. Lucky for you, the world is always in need of more greeting card artists. Oh, ow, you fucking jerk. There you go, Mr. Brin. Feel each shape. <laughs> that sucks. That sucks. That's awful. I would spit on this. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. That's me. I'm Mr. Brin. You see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's the thing I had to do to live forever, right? Where's my immortality? Can I trade this in for one immortality potion, please? I'm stunned. The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. Ah! I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards, and it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oops. Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm thinking about crumbling the contract, but in reality, making money is important. Making money is important. Financial security opens the doorway to be as passionate as you'd like to be. If only I could read this contract. Just so you guys know, this is my life, by the way. I sign like three contracts a day. You've crumbled my contract. <laughs> Uh, whatever you want, kid. Sure, you got talent. But what's talent? <laughs> you whore! To being a difficult artist, the best of us are. Uh-oh. Please don't lead into alcoholism. Please don't lead into alcoholism. Now this is divine. So, now that you've grown your wings, tell me, young master, where will you fly? May I suggest somewhere abroad? This American air can be stifling. Hmm. Where do I want to fly? Good question, sir. Stairs. I'd like to call this one Stairs and the Tower of a Church and also a Splotch and, uh, and, uh, and a Mushroom from Super Mario Bros. and some Sparkles. That's what I call this one. That's the name of my painting. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys think that this is fabulous. Please sell it for a billion dollars. Make it an NFT. That's topical, I bet huh? I you're happy you threw that contract in her face now. You didn't sell out, and you still got rich. <laughs>
I became rich. Hey, yes. Don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today, and well, I'm I'm gonna be a little sick for a while, but really, I I don't want you worrying about it at all. You're such an important moment in your career, and I'm just so proud. But that's enough from me. Oh. Now you'll hear from the person who I believe is the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Her magnum opus, so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny? You ready to come up here? Let me up. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, oh, God. Go on, B. Say something. What's wrong? Why aren't you talking? Oof. Is there anything to look at? I talk to big, very important people every day. And there's one thing that everybody is asking me. What's going on with Benjamin Brin? And what am I supposed to say? That I haven't heard from my star pupil in six... Oh, that's so sad. You are a oh. snake. You are a fraud. But worst of all, Benjamin, you are a little tease. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is a genius. I have That's told the so world sad. That Benjamin Brain is silent because Benjamin Brain is hard at work creating his He's just drawing work the same yet. picture of his mom but you are over doing and over nothing. again. The world has forgotten you, Benjamin. Jesus. We have moved on. And I. Jesus Christ. Hey, B. Just calling to tell you. I think I'm still in the house. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. And then I just find myself breaking down again. That's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. I hope you understand. That is very depressing. That is, I, how do I go back? I would go back to the dad. 100%. Couldn't even draw anything, I'm so goddamn sad. And that's real and true. Oh, that's so sad. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> yeah, I think you did the right thing. By the way, she didn't want you to see her like that. She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. What's that's that? That's sad. That's so sad. It's so fascinating, son. It's her. It's it's the songs that she wrote. That's pretty important. This is how she can live forever. That's what they keep talking about in the game, right? Is there a way to uh? Is there a way to play piano again? I want the kid one. I want the kid one. There you go. Ooh. I want it right there. There you go. Masterpiece. Absolutely artistic. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh. That's actually pretty sick, by the way. Look. It's unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's standing in the room with us. <laughs> like I can see her in the paint. Feel her. Didn't count that blink, thank God. Oh, I didn't count that one either. If I blink just fast enough, I could trick the computer. Inspired by the musical composition of his late mother, the composer L. L. Stevens, relatively unknown in her life, Bryn lifted that, his mother's work really out of obscurity viewing? with the creation it's of Chloe, this piece. Your oh. neighbor. My God, I can't believe this. It's been years. I Yo. just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. 
I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, you're down for that. There's my piece right there. Uh, stairs next to a, uh, a church and a house that looks like a bell mushroom from Super Mario and stars. You guys remember when I drew that earlier? I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. Yeah. I yeah. should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. Remember when you still drew my portrait even when I begged you not to? And then you called me God, whack. You were such a you little jerk, jerk back then. I kept that drawing, you know? Oh my. Oh. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. That's the music. one. That's my. That's my magnum she opus. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. It's cool that you're going through a gallery of things you've drawn in your life, right? Because it's like you're reliving your life as you're reliving your life, which is so fucking cool. That's awesome. Hey, so not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Get some Maybe coffee. we could get a drink or something? You heard of Demon Slayer? Check this out. You ever heard I'd of One really Piece? I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. He's vibing. He's killing it. Finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a... Oh, well, there you are. Hmm. Well, hello, sir. If I had realized, I would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> hmm. I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but... Whew, oh, here's the tower. Internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Nice. Hey, speak a good way. Why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since you know I'm still working on that. See if I'm getting all the strokes right. The yeah, I don't like the sound of it either. Composition. If Eat you catch you my drift. <laughs> mm -mm. Forget about it. All right, here we go. Gatekeeper. Before you stands the soul of a great man. Did you die on your date? Now, no, I don't think so. I hope you not. you describe yourself as a happy kid or a lonely one? You could be both. I was both. But I'll say happy. Hey, I'll uh, say happy. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. And, uh, what'd you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? What the fuck, a composer? His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? She was definitely like demanding. Champion. Or, or more like a taskmaster. She was encouraging, but she was demanding. She was both. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over demanding, forcing him to practice day in and day out, hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or your first love? Be honest, I don't know what she said, but I'll do first love. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. Zone her. Now from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium. Right. See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick, and he had to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Hmm. Painting. Yeah. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he I know, he this guy's kind of a piece of shit. But, for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. 
he was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. But be quiet, all of you. With expectations on his him. career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you I love it. I love the birds. I love them heckling him. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. <laughs> they're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. It's not even open. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. Very interesting. And super sus, agreed. This is incredibly sus. <clears throat> You're a flea bitten sap, you know that? Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Poor soul doesn't know what he's in for. Don't say shit like that, man. Can you blink normal right now? I can, yeah. Thankfully, goddamn. I don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're uh -oh. trying to blink right past it. Uh oh. Because if what the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. Uh -oh. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest Rosa soul that I ever fished out of that Goku black Goku. muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. But it's too late for that. Hmm. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake yeah, lies he's being as a if fucking they were jerk. glass. So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. What the fuck? What the fuck? So I gotta go through it all again? Not this. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I, I I haven't found it yet. Doesn't that make you feel happy? He's forcing me to change something? You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I... Hmm. This. Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? All right. What's it gonna be? What did I do? What did I do? How did I shit the bed? Well, how did I shit the bed? What did I do? I'm getting it. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh. Oh, what is See, it? she knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Oh, because he Let's died. Let's keep going. 
So I didn't get to live up to my mom's expectations. Okay? Well, I kind of did. You prodigal talent. End. I get it. Let's move. One knee in. Eternally indebted. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you to stay focused. Okay. Now where did I fuck yes. up? I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. What is all that stuff outside? What is this? What is this? Oh no, the cat got eaten by a coyote. The death of all those the cats, cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work. To make yeah. yourself sensational. I like hanging out with you a lot. Oh, she moved. She moved. She moved. That's what happened. She didn't she didn't say anything weird. I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. I get all this. We need to move. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Is a Come on, keep blinking. I okay, I'm blinking, buddy. I'm blinking. I'm blinking. Stay engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really don't want to hear us talking about this. This is so hard. This is so hard. Oh, God. It's so hard. I mean, what's the point? Mm -hmm. I mean, what's the point? What's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Oh. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? Oof. We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. I'd... It's okay. He's asleep. It's okay. Jesus Christ, that's so mean. I see. Oh, You fuck. got sick. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs. Oh, look, coyotes. I know those guys. They took my cats. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. Hmm, interesting. She said, what's the point of any of it if he's this not going to get better? Game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Try writing with it. Hmm. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. Nice and cute. So artsy. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. What do I write about? Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. Great life of Benjamin Brin. And I fucked up, so I... His childhood... 
was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, he's saying the exact same thing the wolf said. Raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. His mother was a composer and she was demanding who with the need to support her family took a job as an accountant. Can I flip it? Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Powerful. Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. First love? First Oof. love? Okay, Benny. Oh, I didn't even blink. I didn't even blink there. Come on. You were going to be in there for about 30 minutes. I need an instant replay. So try to get comfortable. I've been in these before. They're kind of weird, huh? You're doing great, buddy. Just a little longer, okay? Knock, knock. You're going to be so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading loud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan. Ah, I'm not blinking! Yeah. Just go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. I just can't. Not right now. Okay, don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. Hey, can't B. tell him he loved him. She loves him. Just want you to know Always that glad to support you, mom Matthew. loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I mm. thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. <laughs> I'm certainly glad you feel that way. But what I want to know is... Where'd you learn to write so well? All those cool words. It reads like Dickens. <laughs> really just very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Okay. Love you, buddy. Oh. Oh. Why is the dad not like his voice, but why does he talk like Markiplier does? You know what I mean? Benjamin Brin was a loser. He was the worst Brin to ever live. He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. He just laid down and died. If he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand it hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been, uh, it's been a rough one. I've had this button before too. 
and I didn't know what it did, so I pressed it too much. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay, well, hmm. well then I guess all I can say is screw you too. You get I said, screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. Dad is just doing his best, honestly. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking just so you don't have to go to school with me is actually ridiculous. I don't know if you're embarrassed about our kid. night at the beach together so you're avoiding me or what. But I just wanted to call to say I really don't appreciate being lied to. And it's not that I need your help in history class, you know. I actually never needed your help in history class. And I just pretended because you were clearly really lonely and you had no friends. And it wow. was my New Year's resolution to be nicer to people. So, I just wanted to say that you've reminded me why I wasn't nice to people in the first place. Yeah, and she's I a wish kid. I never met you. And wow, that's mean. That one hurts. I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. I mean, not as tough as now, but... Yeah, her music had been rejected, and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here, and I feared that yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano, and just your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Mm. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. Wait, is that... That's my face. How did you figure out how to play that? Oh. It didn't tell me to open my eyes. Fucking game. Keep playing, B. She's listening. This game is sad, and it's gonna make me cry, but it's also gonna make me cry because the whole mechanic of it is holding your fucking eyes open, man. I'm a beast. I'm so good. Cry to wet your eyes. You're a genius, Wanderer. Oh, 
Oh, it's back. Ernie. I thought he died, but it was only the kittens that died. What are you doing, Al? She's <laughs> gonna make you sick. Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Oh my god, the pills are becoming... What do you mean she hasn't been over? Like... She didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. Ooh. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. At least that's nice of them, right? This is obviously the disease getting bigger. Oh my god, you're an idiot. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um... I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But... I didn't even get a C because I blinked. Hey! What are you looking at? Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. Oh. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay? Oh, God. Damn, she sprinted. That girl should have became a football player. God damn, she quick. Dear weird neighbor kid, you are my love. You are my first love. Love, Chloe. Oh, is that why he gets better? It gets harder to move the mouse. And I'm not eating enough and I'm not drinking enough either. That's something that's going on right now. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again. Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. Mm, true. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Oh, that's kind Nailed of sweet. It, didn't I? Yeah. That, and was, that was good. Pretty good. <laughs> He's good. What a Chad. This father is such a Chad. Do I just blink? Oh, God. I am getting so sick, I can't even eat. I can't do anything, I'm just sick as hell. <laughs> Get well soon. Always gets me. I can't breathe. I know. I know. It, it's okay. Benny, I understand. There's no need to show me anymore. 
No, Richard, it's like I can't breathe. Like there's this clamp on my chest. I know. It's okay. You can come back to me now. What the fuck? What? You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Ugh. I know just what to tell her. Who is this cat? I don't know, he's like from the afterlife or something. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. Every time I blink, the plants change. So would that mean that when he Don't grew worry. up and became an artist, we got that this. was imagined? No, right? I think. If you died as a kid, might be Anubis. Agreed. Gotta be Anubis. That's so cool. Every time you blink, the background changes. You becoming an artist is what you wrote. Yeah, yeah. So you just died of illness? That's fucking sad as hell. Because yeah, he grows up and then he f sees her again at an art gallery. Hey, yo! Cat Nubis? There she is. Wish me luck. It's Ernie? Gatekeeper. Before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means she's ready to hear your story. What? You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So, I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, hmm. which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. Oh, wait. Benjamin Brin was born into an or ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, out, she began to dream for him. But then when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live. To live, which only made him forget the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl, his neighbor. Who felt all alone in the world, and he made her feel okay again. And how, even when he was sick, he gave his parents hope. How he reminded them exactly who they were. After they had almost forgotten. So when he was going to go... He was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life. Oh. A full life. And he was everything he needed to be. Just as he was. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> She accepts. Oh Close fuck, that's eyes. sad as shit. And keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. Holy fuck! Go on. That's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. Oh fuck. Why is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere. He must be somewhere that he likes. <sighs> that is so sad. That is fucking depressing. <laughs> Jesus.
Jesus Christ, that is a fucked up game. Wow, that's sad. Holy shit. He died young. Yeah, it's a very real thing. I wanna be I wonder body. I wonder why the, the, why in his story he he made his mom die. And when you meet somebody You know like why did he make his mom die? You're gonna feel the same You know way Because in his own imagination in the story that he wrote his mom ended up dying to illness his mom's death was representative. That makes sense. It was his biggest fear. Yeah. Holy fuck, that's so sad. Because he was mad at her, maybe role switched. In his own imagination, he lived a life with uh, with Chloe or whatever. She saw him be successful, and then they went. And they went on a date, and then he wanted to pretend like they had a life together. Oh god, that was sad as hell. It's so fucking sad, dude. There's a couple pictures of you laughing. Yeah. It's very important. I think it's, it's very important. Yeah, the game audio is gonna be. The game audio is gonna be loud. There's nothing I can do about that. Maybe I can do this? No, that did not. God, that was rough. There's just so much shit that this game like actually teaches, you know what I mean? The dad was a champ. The dad was a champ. 100% the dad was a champ. He was, he was an alpha. He kept everything together, right? You think the parents eventually stopped fighting? I don't know. And the, the, the happy, the happy camper in me wants to say yes. The realist in me wants to say no. You know? And it makes it even sadder because it sounded like the mom was saying bad things about the son, about Benny. But in reality, what was going on is she was saying, is it even worth anything if he's never gonna get better? Because the doctor told her that the kid was gonna die. You know? The doctor told her that the kid wasn't going to be able to improve. So she told him, she basically didn't force him to do the stuff, right? Because, um, because she, she, because she didn't know if it was going to be worth making him do the stuff, right? Holy fuck, I was I was crying for a bit. Holy shit, that was rough. It's a very good game. It's a lot of introspect too. Because it's like, you gotta, as dumb as it sounds, and I don't mean to use fucking gamer speak here, but it's a very important thing at the end where it's like, you gotta focus on your W's, you know what I mean? Like you, and I know, gamer, I get it. But it's like, you gotta focus on, you gotta focus on your W's. Like she 100% or like towards the end when she was being such a hard ass the entire game, she comes back and she's like, hey, I loved your story. When originally the story hurt her because the story was about her giving up her dream, she eventually realized like, no, what you gotta, what you gotta know is that you changed everyone you held dear. So when you go, it'll be okay because you lived your purpose. Even though he only got to be 11. Oh God. Oh. Shit! Okay, I don't want to cry again. Anyways, um, that was a very good game. That was a very fantastic game. I know that I missed stuff, and I kind of wish I didn't calibrate it to my fucking eyes, because I'm sitting in this, the fucking, I'm sitting in the, in the dustiest, driest room that has ever existed. But that was a fantastic story. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking call my mom too. I love her. I fucking love my mother. She is great. Oh God, I almost cried in the beginning when he had to talk at his mom's funeral because I, I experienced that one. Uh, but that was my dad's funeral that I had to talk at, which was pretty rough. Uh, but I didn't freeze up because I'm not a bitch. <laughs>
but yeah, uh, the game definitely took a turn. You know what I mean? I thought it was going to be about parent death, and I thought it was going to be about wasting your life, uh, but it actually became about being appreciative of the life you get. You know what I mean? And that's what you gotta. That's what you gotta be appreciative of. You know? I don't. I don't ever mean to make it uh, about me. Obviously, we have a huge story here. Um, but in my situation, right, with my dad dying and stuff, like, uh, 10 years ago now, uh, when my dad died, uh, it destroyed me. I'll be, I'll be honest, I was an alcoholic, I was fighting a lot, you know, I was a piece of shit. Uh, but now, the older I get, the more I learn, like, obviously, if he didn't have to die, then I'd prefer him being here. Uh, but everything led me here, right? The, the, the L's, the W's, the winding roads. And I'm happier than I've ever been, you know? So it's a very important thing. Like, no matter where you are in your life, <clears throat> you got to appreciate the W's, you know? You really got to appreciate the W's. And even though you can't appreciate the L's when they happen, and maybe you'll never appreciate the L's. I don't think I'm ever going to look at my dad's death and go, you know? But it's like, even though it's, you're never going to appreciate the L's, <clears throat> it's, 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 good. It's, it's good to be appreciative of where you get you know, where your life leads you, the winding, the winding roads and all that. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm a very happy guy. I'm happy. Are there multiple endings? I don't know if there's multiple endings. We could look it up. But that was rough. That was a rough one. I loved it. I loved it. And I can imagine there's a lot of content you guys missed. Uh, the game's called Before Your Eyes. Last I checked, it was like $15 on Steam. So if you guys want to, um, if you guys want to check it out, uh, then then go ahead, go on Steam, buy it. It's ten dollars, actually. I guess it's ten dollars. Uh, I knew it was gonna be emotional. I didn't know if I was gonna cry, um, but I fucking did because that ending was sad. You know, it's pretty. It was pretty sad. But again, in in the most cliche and dumbest way, it's like, yeah. You gotta enjoy the time you have, right? That's it. That's it. I think that's the main takeaway. And there's gonna be days that suck. There's gonna be times you clock into work or go to school and you're gonna fucking hate every second of it. But you gotta appreciate it. You know? It, it, you gotta appreciate it. Cause, cause you don't have much time, right? The entire, uh, uh, like, thing of the game was every time you blink it skips forward in time. Always be conscious of it. You want to know something weird? I had a friend, uh, and he was a year older than me, and he was like, I noticed that uh, it feels like I took a nap and I missed my 20s, right? Uh, and I and and I didn't know what to do because time just kept falling off the calendar no matter what. I'd work too much or blank, blank, blank. And you know what his answer to it was? Uh, his answer was to buy a calendar. Buy a physical calendar and cross off every single day because it makes you remember every single day that this is the first this is the second this is the third this is the fourth and every single time you look at it you know it's wednesday you know it's thursday you know it's friday and something that i heard uh dr k tell lily pichu when she had uh her talk with him on stream was at the end of the day sit down give yourself like five ten minutes to meditate and tell yourself your day I woke up, you know, I got mad because there was no cereal left. I got a kiss from my girlfriend and that made me happy. We ordered Uber Eats, right, et cetera, et cetera. And do stuff like that, you know, because you got to be appreciative of the time you have. And that's the positive note. It's a sad game, but hey, <laughs> the kid, hopefully <laughs> this isn't a true story. However, it is a true story a lot of places around the world but it's not a true story for us right i i mean hopefully it's not i don't know if it's a true story um but what i was gonna say is we get this second lease on life and that's a w okay that's a w call your parents tell them you love them or your girlfriend or your homies ask rep i tell my homies when i hang up on discord i say i love you to my homies all the time you know, everyone needs to know how much I like them. So, be appreciative is the takeaway here. Alright?
Be appreciative. That's all I got. That's all I got. Okay? That's it. And if we can end on that, then that's good. All right? I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching uh, and coming with me on this ride.